guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how I use my tapered curling wand and I thought that this would be a helpful video to show how I use any type of hair wand in general. Any type of hair wand meaning any size, any style, just as long as it doesn't have a clamp. So the one I'm using today is this one. I got this off Amazon. I have one that is similar linked because this exact one isn't in stock anymore. I don't see a reason to splurge on a fancy tapered wand if it, this is all you're getting, if it's not um, automatic, kind of like the Beach Waver. No need to splurge on anything basic like this. So this tapered wand goes from one and a half to one inch. And I love this because it gives you a very effortless tousled look. I would say this is one of my top curling tools, maybe like top three. If I'm traveling and I don't know how I want to style my hair, but I know I want some movement to it, this is the one I'm going to pack. So while that is preheating, I'm going to gather all of the hair styling products that I want to use. And that is going to be this braid balm and a texture spray. Both are from Beach Waver. I have a code that will help you save. I like using the braid balm because it helps your waves stand out from each other. And then the texture spray just to give it a little more lift, a little more volume, and then of course a little more texture. And I would say right now my hair is just a tiny bit damp because I did wash it. Personally, my hair holds curls better when it's freshly washed. So I'm going to put, oh, we also need heat protectant spray. How can I forget? This one is my favorite from Chi, but any heat protectant spray will do. So I'm just going to apply a generous amount of this spray bomb all over my hair. This spray bomb is probably like one of my top must have hair styling tool, uh, products. Now I'm just gonna brush my hair through. And now I'm going to take my heat protectant spray and spray that all over my hair as well. It's important to get the under layers because I divide my hair up when I curl it. Even if you're not using any styling products, I highly recommend using a heat protectant spray. They also, um, there's also like heat protectant serums uh, that's good as well. There's one by Chi. So that's just like my number one tip for anyone styling their hair with heat. Now what I'm going to do, I like to section off my hair with a top layer and an under layer. And I just try to curl it up nicely so it, you know, it's not like going to be crazy looking because it's, it's damp. So I don't want any like severe hair dents even though I am going to be curling it. Ow. I ordered this hair wand. I don't believe it came with a little heat protectant glove. So if you're new to curling your hair, I would say practice the movement first, the movements that I'm going to show you. Otherwise, if you're very experienced like me, you do your hair all the time, you probably aren't even watching this video. But if you are new, it can be easy to burn your fingers if you're not used to using a hair wand. Also, if you're new, I think this would be really helpful to get. I am doing my hair on the floor. I like sitting on the floor and doing my hair. My bathroom counter doesn't have enough space for all my skincare products and everything and hair tools. So I like to do my hair on the floor while I'm shooting my videos. So this is a silicone heat proof mat and it just makes it nice and easy for me to put down and not worry about burning my floor. So what I'm going to do is take a section and normally when I'm using a hair tool like this, and if it's bigger, I will maybe do three or four sections, maybe three sections on each side as I use this. But now I'm thinking I kind of want to have smaller sections. So I would say take maybe about an inch of hair. Like if we measure, it's like about an inch, right? Maybe a little more. And you're going to bring your hair wand over your head and you want your curls to go away from your face. So you want to wrap it around and then this is where you need to be careful so you don't burn your fingers and then as i let go which i should have done slower for you i'll do it again you want to let it go in your hand because a normal hair wand doesn't have like a cold shot of air like the dyson air app does so you want to make sure it cools off a little before you let go and since this section was a little damp i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to do that again but let's over wrap and drop in your hand 
because if I were to let go immediately, just let it fall, I'm going to lose that curl a lot faster than I would if I did this. You see how that, I don't know if you can see, but you see that's already a lot curlier than this. So let's go ahead and do this one one more time. And then once you get the hang of the movements, this will feel a lot faster as you're doing your hair. Okay, so that's better. So I'm just going to repeat that process on this side. You also want to be careful so you don't bring the hair wand all the way to your scalp because that will not feel good. Also, the thinner this strand or section of hair that you're wrapping, the faster it's going to heat up. So just little things to be mindful of as you're doing your hair. Now you can see the difference and it's more tousled, right? So you're not getting like spiral curls. You're not getting like a super deep wave. It's a tousled effortless look. So now when we go and switch to the other side, this might feel a little weird if you haven't really done this before. But get your section. I like to brush out every section just to keep it nice and smooth. Now you hold the curling iron in your other hand and wrap it around again with the curls going away from your face. So I'll show you that again. over and then wrap around away from your face. Okay, now for this, it's kind of up to you and what you want to do. Sometimes people hairspray each section as they're done. Sometimes people leave it. I think I want to add some hairspray. So this is one thing I forgot to bring over when we were gathering all of our hair products. So let's just add some. Not too much. Now we'll take this section. I like to throw those sections. I like to throw those sections I just did behind my back and I'm going to section this with the middle part and then have that all in the front <laughs> and then brush it out so I don't look crazy. But you see how I already have a little bit of movement in there. That's why I wanted to keep it nice and neat when I was um, clipping that on top of my head. And you just repeat the same process and you can take as thin of a section as you'd like or you even bigger. So. It's kind of really all up to you. I like to alternate thick and thin as they're going because it makes it look a little more natural. I kind of just wing it and do whatever I feel like. So yeah, you can really do anything when you're doing your hair and that's the beauty of it. So I just did a thin section. Now I'm gonna do one a little bit thicker. Okay, so now as I'm looking at this section, I didn't spray it yet, but there's just this here that I would like a little more curl to, a little more movement. So I'm gonna brush that out. I'll just do that one again. It also might have been a section that was like damp. I'm gonna do a bigger section back there. Now I'm going to move on to this side.
And usually when I get to this last section, I like to turn off my curling iron. That way I don't need to worry about it later. And right after this curl, put that down and I unplug it right away. Once you make that a habit, you're never gonna forget. So now I take a look back and I do see a section I wanna do again. I don't always do this, especially if I do bigger sections, then it doesn't matter. So I guess I really couldn't put this away yet, but since it's still hot, I can still wrap my hair around it. And then boom, we're done with that. Now I'll take some hairspray and spray it all over. Okay, so after that, I take a look at my hair, I assess how it looks, and I definitely wanna do a little bit of finger combing. So let, let me show you how it looks first. But I definitely wanna just make it a little more tousled. So I'm just gonna take my fingers and I'm just gonna go like this. You can also do this before you add hairspray, but I just know today we're going to an outdoor concert. So I kind of want that extra hold, that extra power. And you can just see the difference here where this looks a little more effortless, a little more tousled, whereas this has a little bit of those tighter curls, which you can totally leave. It's up to you. I've definitely worn my hair like this, but I'm more into an effortless look, a little more tousled waves. Okay, so it's a slight difference. I hope you can tell. I was trying to look with the mirror and my camera. So now what I'm gonna do is take this texture spray and spray it under the layers of my hair. This one smells so good. Ooh. Sometimes I'll use this and not a hairspray, especially if I'm not going to an outdoor concert, then I really won't use hairspray. Because I like volume, but when I freshly wash my hair, it's easier for me to get that volume. Like, look. Sometimes you can also add a hair oil at the very end for a nice shine finish, but I'm not really looking for that today. I just want the body in my hair and I want some volume in. So I'm not really feeling like I need the hair oil. So that is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link everything that I use as well as my discount code for the beach waver. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know what hairstyle you want to see next or hair tutorial you want to see next. Bye.